Hi dancers, Jess here. Welcome back to the Whole Dancer YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about dancing in college. It's a question that came up through the Whole Dancer Facebook group. Somebody was asking what my experience was dancing in college and I figured I would share all the details with you all. So I think that these days going to college to dance is much more common and accepted in the dance world, which is a nice thing. Of course, there are situations where college first doesn't typically work. You know, most dancers who dance with New York City Ballet or ABT or one of the bigger companies in the US tend to go straight to company. And a lot of them are doing college side by side or are planning to put it off until the future. So for me, college was really an essential. I was not at the place technically or mentally, I would say, to go straight to company. I didn't even do company auditions because it was very much the agreement between me and my mother also that I would go to college for dance. One of the most devastating things I think that I ever told my mother was when I was 13, I came home from one of my first summer intensives and I said, if I want to dance professionally, I can't go to college because one of our instructors had pretty much said that to us. And so I came home and told her that and she was shocked and disappointed. And, you know, it was just her dream that we were all going to college. I think she would have liked me to be a dentist or something like that. But instead, I went for dance. And that was the, the sort of compromise. She said, you know, you can, you can continue to dance, but I want you to go to college. So I ended up at Butler University and I studied dance and arts administration. Leading up to college in that year prior or so, I did research a ton of different schools. My mom was awesome and we went and visited a lot of different schools. So I really got to see the campuses and experience the dancers that were currently in the dance program. I remember distinctly watching a class at Butler before I attended there and just like being really impressed by all the dancers in the class and I loved the vibe and the teachers and I just got a really good feeling about the campus as well. I just thought it was really beautiful and I had a strong feeling that I would enjoy going there and of course I auditioned and it is one of the places that I got in. Some of the things that you might look for as you're exploring different college dance programs are where alumni go and dance afterwards. So I do remember looking at, you know, the list of alumni and where they danced after and being really impressed as well by the number of dancers who were dancing professionally after school and also the different companies that they were dancing for. I think it's great to see that a program has made and put out successful dancers. I think that it's there's very few things that speak greater volumes to a dance program than the success of their alumni. And I think that, you know, people will choose different routes after studying dance in college. Like not everyone who was in my class even wanted to dance professionally at the end of it. But I do think that when you see that many of the dancers end up dancing professionally and that's what your goal is, that's a pretty big uh, testimonial for the program and what they're offering you there. For me, something that I loved about Butler and something that was appealing before I even went was the amount of performing I would get to do, you know, doing a Nutcracker, doing a full length ballet, doing different shows. And then of course the focus on classical ballet was huge. I knew I wanted to dance ballet and, you know, college kind of forced me to expand my horizons as well and do more modern dance and do some things that really put me out of my comfort zone, but that prepared me for company life as well. So I think that as much as there was a focus on classical ballet there, we were still, you know, exposed to choreographers and teachers who had a huge grasp of modern dance and backgrounds in modern dance that were really impressive. And so they were able to kind of take us to a different place with our dancing. And like I said, these days for most companies, that's really necessary. You have to be able to move in a more contemporary way. You have to be open to different kinds of choreography. And that's something that I was exposed to at Butler that I'm really grateful for. And so I think as much as you might find a program that's focused in an area that you like or focused in a way that you like, it's also good that 
they're going to expose you to different things as that will be very useful once you get out into the professional world. And you might even decide you like something more. You know, many of my peers, even though they also found the classical ballet focus appealing, the fact that they ended up, many of them or some of them ended up dancing in more modern dance roles and and dancing for more modern dance companies and i think that that's really wonderful as well to get all of that exposure and just feel like you could perform other things as well so i think that when you look at different college dance programs you want to see how rigorous the dance schedule actually is you know we were dancing most of the day at butler i it's been a while so i don't remember exactly what my schedule really looked like but Academic classes fit in around the dance classes, and dance classes as a dance major were obviously the priority. I studied dance and arts administration, so I had some like business classes as well that I got to go and take. And like I said, they all had to kind of fit around the dance requirements and the dance classes. But Butler sets that up really nicely, and I would imagine that most schools that have a dance program and a dance major are going to do the same thing for you. But just make sure that it's in a way that you like. You know, I didn't have to take all of my academic classes or at night or anything like that. There was a good mix of daytime. There were a couple of classes I ended up taking in the evening, but I think that that happens to most college students anyway. I think in addition to looking at like the rep and performance opportunities at a different school, you might also look at location in terms of where you'll be auditioning afterwards. So for me, going to Butler, I do think it was useful that Butler is somewhat close to Chicago and a number of ballet companies go and hold auditions there. We did also have some artistic directors come to our school in order to view us as a sort of like closed audition, which is very helpful also. And then for me, I'm from New York, so I was able to go home and then do auditions in New York. My friends and I also went on an audition tour in the spring of our senior year and went kind of all over on a little trip traveling to California and Arizona and places like that. So I think that you have to think about the end game and and the audition situation and fitting that in and what it will be like from a financial perspective if you have to travel all over the place and also, you know, keeping in mind you might end up making a video, but what's going to be the better option? And I do think, like I said, it was helpful that Butler was close to Chicago. As far as what to expect in a college dance program, I had a high level of confidence going into college. I just, uh, I don't know. Well, the school that I studied at in my teens was not huge, so I was one of the more serious students there and, you know, got a lot of soloist sorts of roles and things like that. And then I got to college, and that was me going into a much bigger pond, and I was certainly a small fish. And as a freshman, there was a little bit of like a breaking in period where I think professors were a little bit more harsh in order for you to understand the seriousness of the program and what they were trying to support you in doing and so I think that there was that transition period where it was kind of a little scary and some professors seemed more scary than others you know by senior year I wasn't really afraid of anyone anymore but I think that it took time to get there so I think that you have to keep in mind that going into a new environment they might try to be establishing what the ranks are and what the focuses and how serious the program is and so you might cope with a little bit of uncertainty at first. That prepares you for company life though because when you first start dancing in a company as well you feel like a very small fish in a big pond and when you're coming in at a trainee or apprentice level a lot of times they are really expressing to you where you fall in the ranks and they want you to know that you do have to prove yourself in order to get that promotion. So I do think that college can prepare you in that same way for what's to come next. Finally, to kind of round this out, I think that when you go to college, you need to be thinking about what you want your outcome to be. I definitely took advantage of the college experience and did a lot of socializing. And, you know, I really enjoyed all the aspects of campus life. And I had a lot of friends who were non-dancers, which I do think was actually good for my mental perspective and dance. But if you want to dance professionally after school, you do have to take it seriously. I think that I honestly would have benefited from taking it all more seriously sooner. I sort of turned on the switch to seriousness in my junior year, which was a little late. I should have been taking advantage the whole time. 
So I think that you want to go into it knowing that these are four years that you get as like extra time, but you've got to be at the peak when you're out. Like you want to be at the top of your game so that you're going to get a job and not just get a job in that entry level position, but get the next promotion. I think that college is super beneficial and I never would trade that experience for the world. I loved everything about it. But I also think that it would have been smart to start auditioning sooner. So, you know, I didn't audition until my senior year. I started auditioning for ballet companies, but I would have liked to have auditioned sooner in order to gauge the competition. If I had gone out a little sooner, I think I would have been better mentally prepared for what I was up against. You get into sort of a bubble in college. You get into a bubble in any school, but if you're just surrounded by the same dancers all the time, you might think, oh, I'm doing great. Like, I can dance well next to these people. But then you get to an audition and you're next to an entirely different group of dancers and the intimidation factor is different and the level of talent is different. So I do think I would have benefited from going out and auditioning sooner or at least like starting to send out some videos or something like that just to see if I could get some feedback and see where I was. So that would be one of my big tips for when you're going into college, thinking about the end, even though you're just starting out, you do have to think about step by step, semester by semester, how are you getting closer to this goal of dancing professionally? Or if you discover that you no longer wish to dance professionally, what's gonna be your next step and how are you gonna use your college years to inform that? Now, naturally, I'm an example of the fact that you can go through college and have this one aim and do this thing and dance professionally, I did that and then go in a totally different direction and I became a health coach and now I work with dancers in a different capacity. So life is unpredictable and there's twists and turns and that's just life advice for all of you. It's, you can't know what the end is going to be, but if you know what your goals are and you are consistently reassessing them, you're gonna use the college experience to your benefit. So I hope you liked this video. If you have any additional questions about dancing in college or auditioning or anything like that, feel free to comment below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to the Whole Dancer YouTube channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Every week I come out with a new video on a topic of dance, dancer health, dancer balance, dancer wellness, all that good stuff. Thank you so much again for tuning in and I'll catch you next time.